Cincinnati police have canceled all off days for officers this weekend and some neighborhoods will again be under a curfew tonight. Vice Mayor Christopher Smitherman joins us live via Skype to talk about how things were going and thanks again for uh, joining us yet again this morning, Vice Mayor. Uh, how do you think things went last night? I think that the Cincinnati police and sheriffs um, and our state highway patrolmen did a wonderful job um, last night. I'm very proud of our amazing law enforcement. I thought they were very balanced, um, kept us safe as citizens, kept those citizens who were protesting peacefully safe. Um, they did a great job uh, protecting property. Um, so overall, I give them an absolute A. It was a very, very long night. Um, and as you know, one of our officers was grazed um, by a ricochet of a bullet into his helmet. So um, we've, 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 it was a really, really tough night, but an amazing uh, job by Chief Isaac in the work that he did last night. Yeah, and we're glad that um, officer obviously was not uh, seriously hurt. That's incredibly scary. Um, there, we've counted at least 40 people who were taken into custody last night. Most of them, some of them were, have some menacing charges. Others were just violating the curfew. Uh, there's going to be a curfew in effect for other neighborhoods tonight, uh, or for the neighborhoods again tonight, I should say, the four neighborhoods. So do you anticipate more of this going on tonight, or do you expect the curfew to be expanded? Um, what are you thinking is going to happen? Um, one, let me say, due to how late we all were up, I have not been able to talk to Mayor John Cranley uh, this morning. So I'm going to speculate and say that, yes, I would expect that the curfew um, would continue tonight. We expect uh, peaceful protests as they started in the afternoon today. I'm hoping that it's Sunday and that people are going to take this time to be prayerful um, to spend time with their families and do some reflection. That's what we're hoping for. But if not, um, yes, all through the day, we'll be, we will be preparing um, for a possible tough night. That's the only thing city leaders can do at this point. Um, and I would expect that our mayor will expand the curfew um, and expand neighborhoods that might be impacted this evening. Yeah, because last night they just moved to another neighborhood. So, I mean, that's probably what you know, you, you, if you want to cause trouble, you're going to just move somewhere else. You know, the mayor said yesterday that he thinks there are other people taking advantage of this. Obviously, he he's outraged by what happened to George Floyd. You're outraged by what happened to George Floyd. Nobody can watch that video and think that what happened was right or that it, it was awful. So Mayor Cranley said there are people taking advantage of this and they're almost like drowning out the voices of the protesters. Do you agree with that? I do agree with the mayor's assessment. I spoke to a neighbor um, this morning that I've known for uh, 52 years, um, very reasonable person, and could not justify what she has been watching um, locally and nationally. And that's been true, I think, for all Americans, but specifically African Americans uh, who believe in protesting, believe in peaceful protest, uh, but are not condoning at all uh, the vandalism of property um, uh, throwing projectiles like we saw um, uh, yesterday evening at our district uh, one police station. Um, so we just cannot condone that. And it's absolutely unacceptable behavior. We'll be prepared. We'll continue to arrest uh, those citizens who are attempting um, to disrupt our community. We're, we cannot tolerate this, so we'll be prepared again tonight. All right. Thank you so much again, Vice Mayor Christopher Smitherman, for joining us this thank morning. You. Thank you for having me on.